cool dudes. I hope you're well. Uh, recently, it was Black Friday. What many people think is a sad indictment of 21st century life, showing just how materialistic we've become. But those people didn't get a 30% discount off a brand new walk-in rucksack. Got a look at that. That's absolutely lovely. Go on. Time to take it out for a walk. All right, cool dudes, I'm in Chesham, or as my nan, who is from around here, pronounces it, Chesham, as in, oh, mum, has that man got Chesham all over his trousers? Highlights so far have been a shit Christmas tree. It's pretty middle class around here. They even mark out the uh, tree roots in orange. It's a lovely day for it, look at these views. I'm following a Saturday Walkers Club guide which gives you step-by-step -step information and also I have downloaded View Ranger on my phone which gives you a map of it all pretty interesting right pretty nice bit of woods It's a nice blue bag you got there, mate. Oh, uh, thanks, yeah. It's, um, it's uh, brand new, actually, I got it in uh, Black Friday. Yeah, very nice, very nice bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, do you mind if I have a go in your bag? Um, well, <sighs> yeah, I do a bit, really, because uh, I'm on a bit of a rush with my walk, so I can't really Stop, if you don't mind. Let me touch the bag. What? Let me touch your bag. Uh, 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 uh. You can see the red kite's really close. This is called a squeeze gate. And this is the sort of danger you face on these walks. I'm about to go underneath this tree, fallen tree which could collapse any second. That is a lot better than an action film. Hello mate. Yeah, it's alright for some, having a nice sit down mate. Yeah, ignore me then. About two hours in. I've done just over four miles. This walk is 9.6. It's already quarter to one. I might not get back before it's dark. And I could be out in the dark with my blue bag liable to all sorts of threats. Sex threats, probably. So, um, I better put a move on. I bumped into two people on this walk now, and they both asked me if I'm lost, which is a bit upsetting, because I don't think I have a demeanor of someone who looks lost. I have the demeanor of a confident man who is going about his walking business. Well, one shadow of a doubt where he's going. That pub, Stroke Italian restaurant, was amazing. It looked like it hadn't changed since the 1980s. The owner called me a lightweight for not finishing my massive bowl of pasta. Not only that, but it's Bergerac's favorite place to eat. Perfect.
Hello. It is just gone three o'clock. I've got 2.52 miles to go. It gets dark at four o'clock. Here's my location here. I better get going. Look, there's your house, mate. Yeah, your house. You heard, mate. I actually just felt rain on my face then, but the sky is completely clear, apart from that plane in the distance. So, logically, can only have been someone's plane pits falling on my face. Uh, brilliant, in the middle of nowhere in the country, I got pissed on by someone on their way to Spain. Great. Yet another death trap obstacle. You have to watch out in these woods because it's exactly the sort of place where you can get bummed. So keep your eyes open. Last bit of woods. The sun set over Great Mistington in the distance. Our brave and also handsome explorer nears the journey's end. Yes, cool dudes, it is 4 p.m. and I've made it to Great Mistington. I am going to treat myself to a lager and shandy and then go home. Thanks for watching this to the end. Good luck everyone and wanna go for a nice walk yourself. Bye.